It seems the only thing being talked about online tonight, a Twitter meltdown. It all started with Elon Musk's ultimatum to employees to either work extremely hardcore, his words, or resign. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns is in the newsroom for us tonight, tracking this state of disarray. Tim. Yeah, Dan, um, I don't know if you guys have been on, but it's been a wild day on Twitter, to say the least. Just logging onto the platform this evening, and the top trending hashtag is RIP Twitter. At this point, a lot of people are asking, how did we get here, and what happens next? Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, fired about half the company's workforce just a few weeks ago, and since then, things have gotten even more tumultuous. In an email obtained by ABC News, Musk gave employees until 2 p.m. this afternoon to commit to working, quote, extremely hardcore or also be laid off from the company. Now, according to several sources, many of the Twitter employees who got this email did actually decide to resign, including several who work on targeting misinformation and hate speech. The perception seems to be the company is in chaos. Now, Twitter has not responded for comments, but Elon Musk has been tweeting throughout the evening, including once to say that usage had hit an all-time high. This is one of those really unusual cases that is going to go down in corporate history, no matter how it plays out, even if Elon Musk pulls this off, as one of the weirdest kind of acquisitions and first few weeks of someone taking over a company that I've per personally ever seen. And it's not just employees who have been bidding Twitter farewell. Hashtags such as goodbye Twitter were trending tonight on the platform and thousands of users have been posting where you can find them on other social medias if Twitter doesn't survive. So as of right now, it remains unclear how many Twitter employees have actually resigned and how many actually remain working at the company. No one also really knows where we go from here, but one thing that is probably a reality is that Twitter will be a very different place tomorrow than it was even just a few hours ago. I'm live in the newsroom, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.